In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the term perpendicular bisector. Now, a perpendicular bisector is a line that cuts another line into two equal parts. And it, 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 it cuts that line at an angle of 90 degrees. Now, in the previous lesson, we have looked at what per, the, the, ter, the word perpendicular means. And it is a line, as we have stated, that cuts another line at an angle of 90. So let me underline this. This is very important when speaking about perpendicularity. Okay, now the term bisect. Yes, and the term bisector means to cut into two equal parts. Okay, so in this lesson, we'll be focusing on how we construct a perpendicular bisector by using our ruler, pencil, and a pair of compass. Now, let me just pull this down a bit because we're going to need a little bit more space. All right, so first, I'm going to take out my rule. So let's take out my rule. Here's my rule. Now I'm going to draw a line segment. Uh, let's say I'm, draw, I'm going to draw a line segment seven centimeters. Okay, let's just rest it right there. So this starting from zero and I'm going straight up to seven. Okay, so that's my line segment seven centimeters. So let's put our ruler aside. Now what I'll be doing, I'm going to take out my compass and I'm going to place my compass let, let's give this line segment a name. Let's call this line segment A, B. Okay, now I'm going to construct a line that is that cuts A, B into two equal parts and it cuts it at an angle of 90 degrees. So when you're constructing a perpendicular bisector first, place your compass at the tip, the compass point at the tip of the line at one end and you're going to open your compass to more than half the length of the line so I can't stop there because that's less than half so it has to be more than half the length of the line yes that looks like more than half so I can stop there I'm just going to use a different color to indicate my construction line so let's let's use a red for our construction lines remember your construction lines should be a bit duller than your line segment a b okay because um lines that are drawn with a compass they should be they, they, they should be faded lines all right so i'm going to pull my compass up here and i'm going to swing an arc okay let's swing an arc so i've swung an arc here and again i'm just going to go below here and i'm going to repeat the process i'm going to swing an arc down there so i've just swung two arcs one at the top and one at the bottom from the point A. Now I'm going to move my compass to the point B and I'm going to repeat and I'm going to repeat that step. Okay, so let me just pull my compass around a bit. Okay, so I'm going to swing an arc there that cuts that arc into that cuts that intersect that arc. Really, let's let's just pull this down a bit. And now I'm going to take my point and I'm going to cut swing another arc that cuts that arc up top okay so there we have our two arcs um the pair of arcs at the top intersecting and the pair of arcs at the bottom intersecting so now i can put my compass aside i'm going to use my ruler and let's just get this quickly i'm going to use my ruler and i'm going to draw a line st straight through the point of intersections of the two arcs Okay, so there we have it. We have lined up our rule. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to use a blue and I'm going to draw a line straight through uh, the two arcs. Okay, so I'm through with my rule. So now I can say then that, let me change my color to a green. So I can call the blue line. I can call that, let's call that P, K. Okay, let's just give that a name and the name of that is pk let's just pull this down a bit so that we can see what is happening now i can say then that the line pk is the perpendicular bisector of the line ab because pk cuts ab into two equal parts now if you should use your rule and measure the distance from a to where the blue line is you, you should get the same distance as from the blue line to the point B, okay? So you can just go ahead and measure it with your ruler for practice. Now, 
as we have said it would cut it at an angle of 90 degrees so if you should use your now if you should use your ruler and sorry your protractor and measure this angle here you would get an angle of 90 degrees so you would get a little square thing there all right and that's it it's that easy bye bye